Baruch Rishon, one Baruch, one. And these are the words of the Sefer, which Baruch, the son of Neriyahu, the son of Maaseyahu, the son of Sedech Yahu, the son of Achad Yahu, the son of Kelki Yahu, rather, Kelk Yahu, wrote in Babel. In the fifth year, and in the seventh day of the month, what time as the Kazdim took Yerushalayim and burnt it with fire? And Baruch did read the words of this Sefer in the hearing of Yakon Yahu, the son of Yahu Yachim, king of Yahuda and in the ears of all the people that came to hear the Sefer. And in the morning, rather, hearing of the nobles and of the king's sons, and in the hearing of the elders and of all the people, from the lowest unto the highest, even of all them that dwelt at Babel by the river Chud, whereupon they wept, fasted, and prayed before Yahuwah. They made also a collection of money according to every man's power. And they sent it to Yerushalayim unto Joachim, the high priest, the son of Kelkyahu, the son of Shalom, and to the priests, and to all the people which were found with him at Yerushalayim. At the same time when he received the vessels of the house of Yahuwah that were carried out of the temple to return them into the land of Yahud, the tenth day of the month, Chivan, namely, silver vessels, which Sedech Yahu, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yahuda, had made. After that, Nevud Kadni Setsar, king of Babel, had carried away Yachan Yahu, and the princes, and the captives, and the mighty men, and the people of the land, from Yerushalayim and brought them unto Babel. And they said, Behold, we have sent you money to buy you burnt offerings and sin offerings and incense and prepare ye manna and offer upon the altar of Yahuwah Eloheinu and pray for the life of Nevud Kadni Setsar king of Babel, and for the life of Baal Shat Sazar, his son, that their days may be upon earth as the days of heaven. And Yahuwah will give us strength and lighten our eyes, and we shall live under the shadow of Nebuchadne Setsar, king of Babel and under the shadow of Baal Shah Sitzar, his son. And we shall serve them many days and find favor in their sight. Pray for us also unto Yahuwah Eloheinu, for we have sinned against Yahuwah Eloheinu, and unto this day the fury of Yahuwah and his wrath is not turned from us. And ye shall read this Sefer, which we have sent unto you, to make confession in the house of Yahuwah, upon the feasts and solemn days. And ye shall say to Yahuwah Eloheinu, belongs righteousness, but unto us the confusion of faces, as it is come to pass this day. Unto them of Yahud, and to the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. And 
to our kings and to our princes and to our priests and to our prophets and to our fathers. For we have sinned before Yahuwah and disobeyed him and have not hearkened unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheinu to walk in the commandments that he gave us openly. Since the day that Yahuwah brought our forefathers out of the land of Mitzrayim unto this present day, we have been disobedient unto Yahuwah Eloheinu, and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Wherefore the evils cleaved unto us, and the curse which Yahuwah appointed by Moshe, his servant, at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Mitzrayim, to give us a land that flows with milk and honey, like as it is to see this day. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheinu, according unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. But every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange Elohim and to do evil in the sight of Yahuwah Eloheinu.